one of the great uses of point of care ultrasound is to actually use it to look for pleural effusions. And there's some really interesting findings that are associated with, with this that I'd like to discuss. So the first thing you need to actually do is to identify the diaphragm. And the way you're going to identify the diaphragm is you're actually going to be looking in the longitudinal plane in the anterior, mid, or posterior axillary line. And what you're going to look for is this bright white curved structure, which also looks like a uh, parallel um, curved line sometimes. And what's it gonna, what, what it will be doing is it's going to be moving inferiorly with um, inspiration in a spontaneously breathing patient. So um, if there's a normal, well aerated lung above the diaphragm, um, what you're going to be doing is looking for something called the mirror image. So let me explain this a bit further. So what happens um, is the ultrasound sound wave travels down to the diaphragm and it's uh, it reflects off the diaphragm and then is travel reflected back to the diaphragm as it travels through the liver or spleen. And so if there's this normal well aerated lung above the diaphragm, the um, ultrasound machine interprets this image, uh, sorry, interprets the, the sound waves as coming straight because it thinks it's traveling straight. And it's actually um, traveled since it's a curved diaphragm. Um, it interprets it and it actually, what happens is you get a mirror image. So this is where you're gonna see this actually liver or spleen tissue both above and below the diaphragm. So if there's a normal well aerated lung there, um, you're going to see this mirror image and that means that there's no pleural effusion there. Sometimes it's actually difficult to see the mirror image. So you need to look for another sign which is called the um, spine sign or the V sign. So uh, when you're in the mid axillary position in the longitudinal plane, um, if there's actually fluid in the thoracic cavity, the ultrasound sound waves will travel through the fluid in the thoracic cavity through to the thoracic spine. And what you're gonna see with respirations is actually the shadows of the spine um, above the diaphragm. And this is called, what, it, as I said, the spine sign or the V sign. So looking for these, this mirror image or the spine sign is really helpful to look for pleural fusions. It's also really important to remember to look for these findings when you're doing a fast scan in the right upper quadrant and the left upper quadrant views because you might, even though you're looking for fluid in the abdomen, you actually might see fluid in the thoracic cavity, which you don't want to miss either.